The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells. Today we are on chapter number twenty-five, and the title of the chapter is "The Hunting of the Invisible Man." In the previous chapters, we have realized how Griffin has given away his secrets to Kemp. and kemp knows everything uh, that should have been known about the history and the experiments of the invisible man and of course the drawbacks of invisibility which uh, griffin has revealed in his story to kemp and now because the invisible man has got away from the police and the house of kemp and kemp knows that he is a very very dangerous man it it has become very important for the police to hunt him down that is why the title of this chapter is the hunting of the invisible man hunting in itself as a word suggests as if we are talking of an animal and um, there is no doubt now in the mind of the reader that this man is no longer human he is acting like a selfish animal and that is why the title also has such significance and the character list of this chapter is dr kemp and colonel adye because the invisible man has got away and now colonel adye is being told the complete story of this man by dr kemp and also explains to him how to catch him now dr kemp's role becomes very very important uh, because he is the person who can Uh, get hold of or help the police to get hold of the invisible man so chapter number 25 kemp tells colonel adye the complete story of the invisible man as well as the fact that he could become a grave danger to the people of the town or wherever he goes uh he describes griffin as inhuman he calls him pure selfishness because he only thinks about himself he only thinks about his own betterment how to save himself how to uh, become powerful and not think about the society as a whole so these are the words with which he uh, describes him he also uses a word brutal self seeking this is the kind of person the uh, invisible man is uh, this is how he describes the invisible man and that is the main reason he is so dangerous and now he is even more dangerous and why is this he is even more dangerous because he is furious and there are so many reasons for him to be furious to be angry what are the reasons he was already angry because of marvel and now because of kemp he thinks that kemp has behaved like a traitor um, kemp was the only person he whom he could uh, go to or he could trust and he had actually started trusting him and uh, the unfortunate fact for the invisible man is that kemp has proved to be a traitor to him and hence he is very very furious so an angry man is a very dangerous man uh, and so kemp says that he must be pinned down he must be caught uh, otherwise he would establish the reign of 
terror i need not explain to you the reign of terror again and again because in the previous chapter only the invisible man had given detail in detail his plan of how to establish a reign of terror how he thinks killing people and maiming people would actually be of a, a, a power to him and to them because he thought that kemp would become his partner so this is the kind of reign of terror he wants to establish and then um, he says uh, kemp says that griffin would not leave the place until he can get hold of the books that he believes that he believes would be very very important for him uh, so uh, it it was such a possibility that the invisible man has already escaped from burdock but kemp thinks that he would not go why because he still has to get those books and where are those books the books are with marvel who is in the police station so until griffin figures out how to get those books he would not leave burdock so he says we have some time before we can catch him uh, so that is the time which they would they should not lose because uh, even uh, griffin would start planning now and uh, they should be ahead of him they should plan ahead of him and uh, then there is this plan that kemp forms with colonel adye uh, the plan to catch griffin and some important points are there which we would be doing the first thing that he says is we must watch on trains on the road and also on the shipping because it is a port town we had already discussed that burdock is a port ships go from there to different countries and so he should not be able to take any of these routes out of the town so we should watch them and he says that all houses should be barred and shut why should they be shut so that he does not get anything to eat and no place to rest so if you deny him sleep and rest and food that would be important because he would not have the energy to uh, go ahead to leave the